today we are building microservices but have you ever thought about defining the boundaries of microservices defining the communication protocol for microservices or after building the microservices how we are going to deploy it how we are going to scale it how we are going to monitor it how we are going to secure the microservices all these are like a different aspects which we need to consider before even putting a basic design about microservices so here i am tarun sharma i'm going to help you and guide you about uh, all these different design aspect of microservices which are like communication logging monitoring deployment and devops service composition security fault tolerance and service discovery and different architecture pattern which you might consider before designing a service let's say if i'm designing a microservice today so what all are questions i will ask before i uh, start writing code i will identify the service define the boundaries and first of all choose the communication protocol which i'm going to use it can be synchronous or asynchronous if it is synchronous then protocols will be maybe rest or grpc maybe tcp and you can see rest and grpc i will define contract i will define api spec and then implement a service but on the other side if it is asynchronous then i will be using some message broker i can choose broker from the kafka rabbitmq or maybe sqs sns and then here uh, if it is kafka i will define topics define queues i will write my service and then i will deploy my microservice but the real game will start right after this right so till now we just uh, created a service but now we need to take care of monitoring scaling deploying security and all these different critical aspect of a microservice so these are the different aspects i will think uh, about uh, designing a microservice okay logging and monitoring i deployed my microservice then i now need to take care about logging and monitoring and here how i'm helping in that so i have a playlist which i will be adding logging with the uh, maybe elk stack logging with the cloud watch logging with the grafana and prometheus that i'm going going to cover here so let's say we are writing a node js nest js basic logging creating a custom logger log analysis monitoring setup all these things will be inside this playlist okay coming to the testing part testing we are already using jest and for performance testing you can use artlery for unit and integration and end to end test we can just use jest and your where you can do unit test and api test data management i mean till now we just either use a sql or no sql database so we can stick to that now scalability scalability i have on test this particular point but uh, with microservices we will be talking about this a lot there can be a separate playlist which talks about scalability of microservices load balancing putting a proxy and scaling i mean putting a load balancer just by using an nginx putting a load balancer by just putting an application load balancer on aws or a horizontal scaling or a vertical scaling of your microservice either a node js nest js when you are deploying your service either on ec2 either on the container ecs or maybe on the kubernetes another is different architecture pattern to provide a res resilience and fault tolerance like having a retry mechanism a fallback mechanism so that we can always have a fallback when there is a fault tolerance and when there is error happens security the, uh, the, i already have started a playlist which talks about authentication and authorization this is the one where we will be talking about all different type of authentication and authorization for any microservice either using external tool like auth0 firebase or social provider login or your in house based on cookies sessions storing the session in the redis so that we can maintain the state of jwt token if there is a need of having that then deployment continuous integration i have covered somewhere i will collect those so we will be talking about ci cd using gitlab ci uh, github actions and then containerization and infrastructure as a code i will be talking first time about kubernetes in this playlist where we will talk about containerization is simple with the docker docker local setup with the maybe of uh, you the docker compose you are able to spin up some containers but containerization with the kubernetes that's a different thing right infrastructure as a code which we have already done with the a cdk stack right aws cdk stack we have used where i had i was able to deploy a simple lambda to aws right and then you can also spin up other aws resources using that 
So this is another playlist. I will be collecting the videos and I will be adding the brand new videos. Why I'm all doing all these things? Because I want to create a clean structure for all the microservice design aspect into separate playlist. Okay. Inter-service communication. We have covered REST, gRPC, messaging queues, event driven. I, I am covering all these microservices, Nest, uh, Nest GS based microservices, which are exposing REST interface using gRPC, uh, Kafka, RabbitMQ, providing a communication using event driven or a simple synchronous either using gRPC and TCP or REST API using HTTP protocol. That I will be like aggregating and will be making available for you all guys. Service composition. So this is like uh, which everybody is asking me that, that I need to implement either domain driven design or bounded context or hexagon, hexagonal uh, context, hexagonal based architecture design of a services and service regist registry and service discovery. I will also cover on top of that the different architecture pattern which I already have covered but I will I'm going to create a segregate aggregate playlist which contains only those videos so you can see what are the new playlist coming up on my channel and all are interesting all are covering nest js node js and only talking about microservices either it is a scalability data management testing uh, security uh, deployment on different platform inter-service communication and exposing a different interface through your APIs, different type of a communication, microservices using a different type of protocols. So th that's a lot. And don't worry, I'm not going to cover everything like parallel or in one go. Currently, we are talking about logging and monitoring. So what is my next topic you can expect? I'm going to cover ELK stack with an SCS Node.js, like how I can use Elasticsearch log stash Kibana for visualizing the logs, aggregating the logs in a particular microservice. Okay, that's it guys. Thanks everyone.